Ship's caught a current. Be out in the jib. Almost there, Captain. expanse. It's easy to forget sometimes. You can say that again. But we made it. To Zega Grande Skydom. <laughs> now we're a step closer to finishing our journey! Yeah. <sighs> it's nice we're getting closer to our goal and everything. But... I was thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if our adventures never ended? To me, seeing the world with everyone is so much fun. I sort of wish that it could go on forever and ever. You read my mind. We got monsters! Sure showed those losers. <laughs> <laughs> you can't mess with the best. <sighs> <laughs> we did it! Okay now. Jeez, really had me worried there. I. <sighs> Lyria! Oh, 
Back up! I can't! They're too heavy! Lyria's voice echoed through the darkness. It was familiar. Painfully familiar. Just like the day we met, before this whole long journey began. Though I could barely use my sword, I tried to protect Lyria from the Empire. I almost died. But then... You protected me. Now it's my turn to save you. Take my power. Let it guide you. Let it become your strength. I know you can do this. Our lives are linked. While I may not fully understand how, Lyria gave half her life to save me. Her gift gave me the push I needed to pursue my own quest, finding Estelusia, Island of the Astrals. It was a fabled place at the end of the sky, where dreams are said to come true. Lyria and I not to mention our ever-growing crew, are still continuing our search. But someday... Someday we'll find it. Then, finally, the life link between us will... Huh? Where... am I? Oh, right. Lyria fell from the ship. Then Vern and I leapt after her. <sighs> you gotta wake up! Come on! Open your eyes! I said wake up! <sighs> you okay, buddy? You know? Forgive me for being late, Captain. Hope you saved some fun for me. Oh, 
I have to say, you're a real lifesaver. Well then, see you next time. It's always a pleasure. Y'all waiting. Cypher's officially in the shop. Nice work. Hey. Thanks, Rackham. So, we've got time to burn, it seems. Anyone uh, want? Almost forgot this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys hear that? All right, I'm off. Do your thing, autopilot. So, I bet you're wondering who I am. Huh? Mm -hmm. I work for the Church of Folka, mostly as a vicar. Call me Roland. I'm Catalina, protector of this crew. Name's Rackham. Cheers. And I'm Eo. Eugen here. Rosetta. You can call me Ver. I'm Lyria. Nice to meet you. And finally, this is our captain. Wow. I can't imagine captaining a crew at your age. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly a slouch myself. You see, I'm kind of a Mr. Fix-It, handling all the odd jobs after church. From furniture repair to marriage counseling, I can mend it all. Results guaranteed. When Roland's on the case, nothing is impossible. Uh, too dramatic, huh? This guy's a few apples short of a bushel. He'll hear you, dummy. Glad you're with us. High five, fix it, dude. Uh, dude? D Once again, my name is Roland. Yep, heard you the first time. Cheers, fix it, dude. But it's Roland. Okay, sweetie. 
There should be more people here. Ah. Roland. We should talk. Thank you so much, everyone. But more settlements could be under attack. Better keep going. We gotta check on those people. Huh? What the... Heavens help us. There are others who haven't made it out yet. see that ship? Ruby red for the hull? Sticks out like a sore thumb, don't it? Lyria's doing. Hey. Lyria! What's wrong? It wasn't me. I didn't... I couldn't stop it. Friends of ours, I'd wager. Hmm. Now they look like a fun bunch to tangle with. Do not deviate from the mission. We are simply here for a meet and greet. And you are? We've been waiting for you, Shaman of Salvation. Now, would you be so kind as to join us? 
If you value your life, you'll leave us alone. Oh, fancy and challenge, huh? Fine, have it your way. I'll end this in 90 seconds. <laughs> O oh, Shaman of Salvation, long have we waited for this day. What? Shaman? Me? How uncanny. So much in common with the blue butterfly and Seed Hollow's energy. Oh, my apologies. You must be bewildered by this disrespectful treatment. I... Who the heck are you? And what do you want from us? Oh. How rude of me. You may call me Lilith. They the pilgrims of Avia. I their shepherd. And I will not rest. Not until we open the path to Utopia. Esther Lucia. Utopia? You just said us to Lucia, but that's the same place we're headed. Ah, truly? Our goals eclipse one another. Then I needn't prattle on. This meeting has proven quite serendipitous. I promise to take care of everything. Now, dear Sean, prepare yourself for glory. For a grand pilgrimage awaits us. We shall pave a new path to Estelucia. I don't think so! You don't get to make the rules on my watch! You fuckface! If... You... <laughs> Let us return. You are unworthy. Oh, <gasps> 
Lyrium, welcome to your new home. beside herself. <sighs> Let's go. The Church of Avia, claiming Lyria was some kind of shaman of salvation, had ripped her away from us. We had no idea what they were after, much less what they had in store for Zega Grande. The most we could speculate, there had to be a connection between Avia's appearance and the incidents with Bahamut and Furikan. At the very least, Roland had an idea of where they were taking Lyria, Motanya Island. trying to outrun the Grand Cypher. Anything for salvation. some frightening firepower. I'm glad you're on my team. What can we say? Those bozos weren't even a challenge. All right, now to catch that ship. It's showtime, folks. Galant. 
Alza, Alpha of the Silver Wolf Corps, and strongest in the land! Bastard! Watch where you stick that thing! Who cares about a dumb pile of wood? You see, all that matters... <laughs> ...is the last man standing! At least get... <laughs> thrilling. <laughs> How thrilling! If I am to fall in this duel, then it would have been a life well spent! I'm inclined to say that you've had quite enough entertainment. <gasps> Another one? <clears throat> I haven't had a worthy fight in ages. I won't retreat. Really, you speak like a beast with more impulse than sense. If you're lying on the ground bereft of life, how will you explain yourself to Our Lady? <clears throat> Point taken. I could use a nice nap. But as for you, <clears throat> the next time we meet face to face, only one of us will walk away. It'll be glorious! Dark! Roland, what of the red ship? Don't you worry. I've got eyes on it. They're flying towards Mount Nagelith and... Whoa! Ah! Old girl's taking too much damage. Hope she don't fall. Damn it. Just gave her a tune-up, too. Don't let us down, Grand Cypher. chase after the red ship, straining to see through the flurries of snow. Motanya Island, home to frosty mountains, treacherous ravines, and desolate tundra. Out here, it's just white, white, and more white. The ship shivers in the blasts of icy wind. This place has got just one message for us. Keep out. gonna get a little bumpy. Yeah, skeletons. Frozen skeletons. Good day, travelers. Although I bear no grudge against any of you, it would certainly behoove you to abandon your quest. I do beg your pardon.
Milady, you were strictly ordered not to kill them. They went toe to toe with Galanza and survived. This will merely slow them down a bit. But do keep a close eye on them. Ma'am. Now then, the Mountain considers your party to be uninvited guests. One wonders if Mother Nature will forgive this intrusion. Hey! Still alive? That's it. I'm headed up to here with gravity. Stop. Nobody move. Traveling Skyfarers. Bestow thy grace and guide us past the door of seclusion. Another foe. Hysteria! Nave! What did you do to Lyria? Answer! I wouldn't interfere if I. Finally caught up to Lyria, but her eyes had lost their spark. When I called her name, she didn't respond. She didn't hear me. The Lyria we know and love? It's like she wasn't in there anymore. What is Avia plotting? With so many mysteries left unsolved, I get the feeling this is just the beginning. But for now, we need to dig up info on this mind-sealer thing. 
We flew through the night without ever stopping. I can see our next island, hugged by dawn's warming light. Call that amber glow false hope, but I'll take it. Welcome. This is Sega Grande Skydom's largest city, Seed Hollow. Everyone, meet Zafba. Dolly Island. That's where we're going to find the Catalyst Stone to free Lyria from the Mind Sealer. This is our last thread of hope, and nothing's gonna make us let go. Not even a waking nightmare. It's okay. Come, the stars await, and we mustn't keep them. You were tossing. Do you feel all right? Yeah. And how are you feeling? I feel fine. Why ask me such a question? I... <gasps> I found it. Another god. As we fly closer to the main island, an ocean of sand seems to stretch on forever. Large ruins break the surface like icebergs. It's time to start digging through the past, because in one of those tombs lies the catalyst to our future. See that platform smack dab in the middle of the desert? You gotta light the whole thing up. The contraption you're after is probably sleeping soundly beneath it. After you break the seal, we'll be collecting our treasure. Sound simple enough? Yes, in theory. But we all know these sorts of places are riddled with traps. Nothing's free in life. You want the catalyst? You gotta work for it. Good help 
was hard to find these days. I head back to the central ruins and grab the loot. I've got a date with that treasure chest. again. If you want a beating, we'll oblige. You took the words right from my mouth. <sighs> Who said that? That stone is a captivating prize. Unfortunately, I can't allow you to claim it. <laughs> Damn. are my kindred. The Sword Veil. And we wish to show you our beautiful blade work. Do enjoy yourselves to the fullest. Teach them a lesson they shall never forget. With pleasure. Failed, my lady. <sighs> oh, very well. Since you insist upon testing the sword veil. It's Roland. Is the Grand Cipher back to 100%? Yes. We're on our way over right now. You're getting it done. Thanks, pal. So, any news on the Catalyst? We sort of ran into a minor hiccup, but it's safe in our hands now. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Great job out there, everyone. I'm coming to pick you up now. Thanks. Wait. Roger. I won't fail! Later, let's provide air support. Roger. 
all four. Now what do we do? I see a red crystal exposed on Excavalion's back. If I had to guess, that core powers everything. Seems like entering repair mode leaves it weak and vulnerable. Are you ready, Zappa? That's if you had to ask. All right, crew. Let's get trigger happy. Fire! Same. My dogs are barking. Hey! Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I'm glad you're safe, Vern. And the catalyst? Do you still have it with you? Got it right here! Thank goodness. And all that's left is to rescue Lyria from Avia. Yeah! With the catalyst in our hands, we board the Grand Cipher to go after Avia again. Next stop is Fondum. Just a short hop step and a flight away. It's been roped off as a danger zone, which yeah, isn't ominous at all. The church is headed there for one thing. Yet another altar housing a primeval god. All of Zega Grande's gods, or I guess primal beasts, are a force to reckon with. But we can't let Avia keep exploiting Lyria's power. If they force her to commit atrocities, once this is all over, she'll never forgive herself. Thick black smoke blankets the sky. Rivers of fire flow below. Yeah. Pretty much the perfect stage for a fateful showdown. Well, here's to hoping we make it out in one piece. Here goes nothing! Come on, Lyria! Wake up! 
Captain, how is she? <sighs> well done, everyone. Grief and misery make fools of us all. Here I see a troop of puppets flouncing about in a play with no audience. And your bond with the shaman? It's threadbare. Little more than a thin line of hope. Fear not. Entrust me with your strings, and I shall deliver salvation unto you all. I know this is much too sudden for you to comprehend. But don't struggle. Embrace it. Pitiful fool! Face your judgment! Why must you reject salvation? Do you not see that it is the perfect course? You dare? Defy me to the end? I'd rather not harm you. That would not be in the shaman's best interest. So I ask, judge for yourself the miracle of my salvation. Why? This has always belonged to us. I admit, I am intrigued as to how you were able to activate the catalyst. Although, I suppose it no longer matters at this point. With the primals in my possession, I've won. She knows how to make a strong cage. My powers are useless against it. Damn it! We didn't come this far to get put in timeout! There is still hope left. Correct. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. <gasps> Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. You knew a great deal about this Skydom, things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. Real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry, can't blame a guy for being on edge. Is that... Those are obvious raptors! You're kidding! They really chased after us? They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now? Well, they're here! Less talking, more blasting! So, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug-of-war, decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear, but one thing is certain. 
Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. And with all the good he's done here, his love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith and ensure Angra Mainyu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm. Seed Hollow is burning. Another victim in Avia's desperate mission to return to the stars. This all started because I brought Lyria to Zega Grande. And now our battle is intertwined with the fate of the Sky Realm itself. We need to get to the heart. you in defiance of Our Lady's grand message. Face your penance! Now we face the interlopers who routed Rook and his men! A Lady Lily! Yeah! A Lady Lily! Yeah! And don't even think about coming back! Now we have to fight two of them? Allow me! Uh, don't mind if I recruit a little help? Looks like the coast is clear for now! Tayuatar, good night, sweet prince. You will be missed. More rubble, is it? Never fear, I'll have it removed post- <laughs> to die for. There's no better appetizer to a banquet of blood. I knew you'd be back for more. In the name of the Sword Veil Fellowship, I shan't let you take another step. Let's have a clean... Yes, that! of my position to be making demands of you but please the sword veil are my family if you can find it in your heart to spare them take me i staked my life on this death match now come claim your hard-earned spoils <laughs> We just want to get through here without trouble. As long as you stay out of our way, we got no reason to fight anymore, deal? There's no time to waste. <laughs> Forgive my failure, Lady Lilith. defeat they might actually pull it off up ahead is the altar where Angra Mainyu lies sealed so long 
Finally, the dawning of salvation is upon us. The path will soon open. I wasn't expecting to see them again. That's enough! Lyria's coming back with us! Is that so? Id? You're all talk! What happened to that stuff about protecting Lyria? <sighs> you know what to do. can destroy on remind you If I kill you first!
Damn. Guess we're next. Get ready. <laughs> skies. Let me whisk you away on a journey aboard the Ark of Angra Mainyu. other half. <laughs> Id, explain yourself. Mother, you told me to protect Lyria. But this... Why this? This isn't what you said! Why did Lyria... Calm yourself, Id. Angra Mainyu has been revived. Thus, the shaman's role is complete. Consequently, your duty as her guardian is no longer needed. <gasps> but Mother... Please! Temper, Id. It almost sounds as if you disagree with me. My naughty child, you're no better than these interlopers. Forget about me! Focus on your link! Adversity only seems to push you towards victory. After all, you must be confident you can prance out of here as the hero. Don't be. Humdrum tales of heroism and gallantry have no place on my shelf. Let us finish this charade!
Primeval dragon. Child of darkness and flames. Thy name is... to the astral realm. <laughs> Salvation follows at my heels. The sky will fall and the stars will ascend. Utopia is within my grasp. Seems so. Everybody, run! Look! What is that? I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. The end? Hurry! Get a grip. Go lace up with daggers, bro. Yes, sir. How's the second district holding up? We finally have Lyria back. There's not even time to celebrate. 
Lilith is so close to her goal, she's become blind to everything else. I doubt there's anything that can stop her now, except us. It might sound melodramatic, but this is fate. Our crew versus Lilith. So there's only one thing left to do. Fly to the Pillar of Vioi and end this. The sky's a shocking shade of despair. Guess we got Lilith and Angra Mainu to thank for that. That pillar scares me more. Lilith called it the bridge to the Astral Realm, right? Only Angra Mainu can open the gate. That pillar must be like an altar for the rites. Considering the scale of violence I inflicted on your crew. Well, in the end, you did help us. <laughs> a past enemy is a future friend. That's what they say. All right. I'll join you in the fight against Lilith. Let's stop her. Catch my breath. Wait, you're gonna sleep here? By the way, huh? Aren't you? But I suppose etiquette can wait. First, a dance. Mistake, Skyfarers. This was merely a matter of honor. Do not disgrace yourselves by thanking me. And so, I bid you adieu.
Had you only seen things my way, this pitiful fate could have been avoided. Why must you insist on quarreling with your own brethren? It's unfathomable, truly. Impeccable timing, as always, I see. Can you feel the grip of imminent salvation? I invite you and your other half to watch. <laughs> and it... Is this betrayal? <laughs> hmm. Where did I go wrong? You can't sacrifice our skies to open that gate! We won't let you do it! This is our home! And it means more to us than you'll ever know! Blowing up the world to help yourself is just how selfish can you be? Once I reach Estelusia, I shall guide this world to Utopia. Why would anyone reject my heartfelt invitation? Ah, <sighs> how I pity you poor misguided creatures. Yeah, like we give a crap about anything you say. <laughs> Your messed up Utopia is built on sacrifice. No way we're letting that fly. <sighs> Options fail me. I can no longer sway your hearts or minds. As a parting gift, may you all find solace in death's warm embrace. preclude celebrations, but we're not done yet. For a fraction of my soul, I'll buy all your death! Her power's flowing into Angra, mind you. She's attempting a fusion. Is she that desperate to live on, even if it means she'll stop being an astral? Oh, great gatekeeper! Angra, mind you! I beseech you, bequeath your power onto me! Take this vessel! I am yours! Come to this! The dawn for your 
did you miss me? What the? Zothba? <laughs> the cavalry is here. You might need your ship, unless you plan on walking home. Quite a raucous affair we have here. before it gets more out of hand. the sky. It's time for us to join this one. The world rests in our hands. What fun is a death match if my opponents are already dead? This is the moment of truth. Do not falter! Whatsoever you decide, we will follow your lead. Shot costs us a mill. Okay, so what? Those folks are betting their lives out there. So shut your yaps and keep firing! Everyone's here! Our bonds are stronger than ever. We shall prevail! Let's show her what's up, Captain. Us Sky Dwellers are taking a stand. Yeah! sins are grave, too great to measure. Don't you see? You were wrong to think of sacrificing this world and its people. It's not too late. It. I'll accept my fate, so please. I'm sorry. been truthful with you from the start. Wings of darkness spill forth from thy vessel and awaken. Claim thy divine right. The sky is once more yours to sunder and renew. Primeval dragon, 
child of darkness and flames. You can't! Thy name is... Bahamut. It's okay. Let me be the one to save you. Huh? Perhaps I acted in haste. So swiftly you sensed the dimensional distortion. Oh, meddlesome wings. You who defy the stars. You will sleep within this child, until I have further need of you. <laughs> Come, the stars await. And we mustn't keep them. The true beginning stirs. Precious. I mean, even the god of destruction can't bear to lose it. Our bodies might be mortal, but our hearts are infinite. Though he's in a dark place right now, I hope Id doesn't lose sight of that. But even if he does, I'll open his eyes again. I, this crew, will never abandon someone we care about. The sunrise spills over the Grand Cipher as we rush on the winds, chasing the sorrowful cries of a faraway dragon.
help you. Me too. Thanks for the support. I won't waste it! Is perfect and yet <sighs> it seems the binding is only half effective. <sighs> It's up to you. You must save it. Realized it sooner. No use running anymore. I am who I am. Oh. <clears throat> An evil dragon, child of darkness and flame. Forgive me. Hmm. Kids these days, you two are totally nuts. <gasps>
Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Place far away? Hey, this ain't the time for jokes. He and Bahamut are trapped on another plane. Think of it as a sliver between dimensions. Still, considering his transceiver seems to be working. For now. Sadly, I think my time's almost up. The line's going to get cut earlier than I'd hoped. Thought I'd still be able to open a gate from here. Guess not. Isn't there anything we can do? Sure, just stay calm. No need to worry about little old me. I'm Mr. Fixit, remember? There's no jam I can't get myself out of, you know. I'll make it. bumped into Roland when we first arrived in the Zega Grande Skydom. I have to atone. Huh? For Mother's crimes. And mine. Come on, no need to beat yourself up, kid. That's right. We couldn't have resolved this without you. said it was fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of us now, not me. Ready to set sail! Yeah! 
Setting course for Einstetto Archipelago. Full speed ahead to beautiful Volga. Everything you've done. Never ever. <laughs> and when we find Roland, we'll give him the thanks he deserves. We've met so many people in the Zegra Grande Sky. New friends. New allies. saw a man torn in two by family and betrayed. We were saved by an immortal who found beauty in our changing world. Through loss and adversity, our resolve brought Lyria and I closer than ever before. Yet this story is far from over. A good friend is still out there, waiting for us to come get him. And as for our journey, there's still much to see. To the ends of the skies, where the stars reside, someday we will reach Estelucia.